Hi class, welcome to this other session. We are discussing about drawing a phasor diagram. This example is going to help us uh, make that drawing. The example reads, <coughs> a balanced three wire star connected three phase load has a phase voltage of 240, a line current of 5 amperes and a lagging power factor of 0 0.966 draw a complete phasor diagram. The first thing you need to do is to get the angle. Remember we know from the solution, we know power factor. Power factor is equal to cos, cos theta. So meaning we have been given cos theta to be equal to, or we can call it cos phi as they commonly call it. Cos phi is equal to 0 0.966. Huh? So if you want to get phi, it's the same as you take cos inverse of 0 0.966. <coughs> so therefore, if you use your calculator, this one comes to 15 degrees. So it means this current lags by, lags by 15. It is lagging by 15 degrees. It is lagging by 15 degrees. So the next thing that you need to do is to draw the three lines which are displaced because it is a balanced. And then we can begin here and start here. And draw this. Also draw this is my 90. Just drawing a Cartesia. If that is my 90, remember we have said we are supposed to measure 120 degrees from this particular point. If this is my one, my 90 degrees, I can measure 120 degrees. 120 degrees is somewhere here. So I will join from the center. Like that. Remember the same thing also needs to happen on the other side. I need to have another one twenty degrees on the other side, like that. So my other one twenty is here. So I can have it drawn like this. So basically now, the three important lines here are these. Huh? I can have these as a dotted line because I will use it sometime. So these are my dotted lines. Uh, this one we don't need it Don't need this we don't need this that was just for illustration and you just ensure these lines are equal These lines are equal that is it You can see this is equal to that This should also end at this point so I can remove these huh? <coughs> Remember now this is 120 degrees just ignore these dotted lines, 120 degrees, this 120 degrees, this another 120 degrees. Remember we can say this is our VR, this is our VY, and this is our VB. Remember we said the sequence is from red, yellow, blue, and this should be clockwise. Should be clockwise direction so that is what we have drawn again after that we now want to plot the current huh? if you want to plot the current remember we have said the current is lagging behind the I think I can remove these angles because we have seen what is happening we have said the current is lagging behind the voltage by 15 degrees so you can measure you can use your ruler and measure 15 degrees so let us say 
this is our IR and it is lagging this one by 15 degrees remember we have been given the magnitude of the current as um, 5 amperes this is our 5 amperes you have drawn it there the second thing if you want to get the, 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 the line voltage remember the phase diagram is a relationship between the line voltage and the phase voltage so what we have drawn here these are the phase parameters the phase voltages huh? so if you want to get the line parameter what you do you will come here and extrapolate this line you will come here and extend this line that is what we mean by extrapolation you can extend this line and make sure it is the same same uh, length as the other one so you can see this was uh, that much and we can also have this one the same uh, distance so let us have it to that particular end so because this was our post vy this becomes minus vy because it is in the opposite direction with this one so after doing that remember now this this uh, the whole of this angle was 120 this now becomes 60 degrees because we have divided the second thing that you need to do the second thing that you need to do uh, however i can see the board is a bit small because uh, we need to draw another line that is parallel to this one uh, we can use this other side assuming that is what you do for r let me just do for phi b so that it is easier for us to understand what basically i mean let us now come to vb when you are looking at vb what you need to do is the current is lagging the current is behind remember we have started from this point huh? so you will have to come here and measure 15 degrees 15 degrees because we have said the current is behind the phase voltages huh? so this is our ib which is 5 amperes and it is behind this particular vb by 15 degrees if you want to get the line voltage if you want to get the line voltage here you extrapolate remember extrapolate means extend this line if you extend this line just have to move it down a bit remember it is this much so you move it up to this point so this becomes our minus vr once you get your minus vr you also going to draw another line from this point uh, that is parallel to this another line that is parallel to that so if i basically if you draw something that is parallel should be something of this kind so using your technical drawing skills you can draw a parallel line this line to be parallel to this and remember the dimensions should be uh, the same as that up to this point then the next thing you do you now join you can now join once you join once you join this becomes our vbr vbr is now the the line voltage yeah? so you can you can use this and draw so you can now see these are VBR and remember our VBR our VBR is equals to VB plus sorry VB minus VR so that is how you you get that and um, I want us uh, I want us to stop there for now uh, until next time. So thank you.